War in the Middle East is heightening the concern over the lack of leadership in the House of Representatives, as you just heard, sparking calls for an expedited nomination. According to Fox News' Chad Pergram, after Speaker Kevin McCarthy was forced out of his job last week by all House Democrats and eight Republicans. Joining me right now with his insight into the Speaker's race in the midst of war between Israel and Hamas is Florida Congressman Byron Donalds, a member of both the House Oversight and Financial Services Committees. Congressman, thank you for being here. Assess the situation for us today from your standpoint. Well, look, first and foremost, uh, with what's going on in Israel, Israel has our full support. Benjamin and Yahoo needs to do everything necessary to get all the hostages back, but also to teach Hamas a lesson. This cannot be tolerated. They have our full support. Now, on to what's going on um, with the Speaker of the House right now. Um, it's not really clear if the Speaker pro tem, Patrick McHenry, can even get the intelligence briefings to know exactly what is going on in real time. That limits the House's ability to do its job and its function should resources need to be made available to our ally, Israel. So I believe that we're going to get through the Speaker of the House uh, vote uh, pretty quickly this week. Obviously, what's going on in the round the world is going to raise, uh, it's raised tensions, but it's going to make the members get down to business faster uh, than I think would have happened without what's going on in Israel. Uh, who are you supporting for Speaker? I'm supporting Jim Jordan. I think Jim has the ability to bring our entire conference together, to be focused on the conservative principles that everybody in our conference wants to see accomplished. But also at the same time, Jim has been chairman of the Judiciary Committee. He's been on the conservative side of our conference, but he's also had a lot of dealings with the more moderate members in our conference, understanding what their issue sets are in their districts and trying to bring all that together, while at the same time also being one of the chief uh, 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 litigators and holding the Biden administration accountable. I believe with where we are, it's time for a new a new look in House leadership, a new wave of House, House leadership. Jim Jordan is the person who can do that. Well, your role on the Oversight Committee has been critical in terms of move, moving these investigations forward. We have not talked about the investigation into the Biden family, influence peddling, charges of bribery, money laundering. Where does that stand? And can you tell us whether or not uh, it is in jeopardy, given this uh, lack of leadership in, in, in the House? Well, I don't think it's in jeopardy, but it definitely is slowed down, because now that we're having to focus on choosing a new Speaker of the House, it's taking time away from those investigations. Uh, we had our first uh, impeachment inquiry hearing about a week and a half ago. Um, one of the things that really came out of that is that the witnesses all basically said the same thing, that based upon the information and the evidence we brought forward, they would all go and get more information. They would continue the investigative work. We believe that's going to help us win in court when we go and try to subpoena bank records, wire transfer information from members of the Biden family and from other businesses associated with Hunter Biden and Jim Biden. So the work is going to continue, but it is slowed down because we do need to have a new Speaker of the House. Uh, we are learning uh, that there could be Americans held hostage this morning in, uh, in, uh, in the Gaza uh, region. Uh, this morning, the U.N. ambassador was on Fox and Friends. He said that the uh, hostages' numbers are growing and that there are about 1,000 or dozens, dozens of people, he said, uh, who are Americans who are being held hostage. How does that change the, the story for you? And what do you want to see in terms of the assistance to Israel? Well, first, let me tell you, uh, I was actually contacted last night. I have 53 members of my constituency who are in Jerusalem right now. Obviously, they are panicked, trying to find their way to get back to America. If anybody, if you haven't been to Israel, in southern in southern Israel, by by uh, the Gaza border, by Gaza City, yes, it is a, it is really easy for them to come across that border. That's what we saw. We need to provide every assistance possible to Israel to get Americans back. And listen, let me be very clear with Hamas. Touch an American's head and see what happens to you. That's my position. That needs to be the position of the president of the United States right now. We need to get those people back and support Israel in every way possible to see that happen. Well, Congressman, the Indian em uh, embassy in Israel is uh, reporting that nearly 1,000 people have been killed in Israel, Gaza war, over the last two days. Uh, your thoughts on how long this can go on and how we arrived here? 
Well, first, let me take how we arrived here. I think how we arrived here is there is weakness in the White House. Um, I've been calling Joe Biden the master of disaster, and this is one more disaster on his watch. Um, and we have lost four United States embassies under Joe Biden's presidency. It doesn't get reported much, but those are the facts. These terrorists, when they see weakness, they push. They saw it in Afghanistan. Yeah. You see it in Ukraine with Vladimir Putin invading. And so you're yeah. going to sit here and tell me that Hamas isn't looking around saying, oh, well, maybe we could do something, too? Weakness breeds this kind of stuff. I okay. think the path forward is we have to support the Israeli Defense Forces. They must have total victory right now. Right. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching your work. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.